Hello guys, my name is Diana Muñoz, I'm a Canva certified creative and in this tutorial I will teach you how to create this beautiful animated story for our Instagram. So if you didn't know, you can actually have access to this swipe up feature on Instagram even if you don't have 10,000 followers and I will also explain how to do this at the end of this video, so I hope you stay till the end. So let's start now. I will uh, actually create a new page and I will explain everything step by step. For this design, uh, let me go to the home page. I went to uh, this category and I selected the Instagram stories. So if you cannot find it here on this carousel, just uh, browse a little bit. If not, you can type here stories and you will find Instagram stories. Everything is in Spanish at this moment, but uh, if you type Instagram, for sure you will have them in there. So Instagram stories. And uh, that's what I selected. And then I selected blank page. And here we are in my design page. Okay, so for this story in particular, I went first to the template area and I selected one of these designs because I actually like the effect or the kind of um, texture that these designs have. So I will click on one of these designs and I will delete all the elements because I only want the background. So I will show you what I mean by the texture. So if you check here, it has kind of like a grain or dust film kind of a texture and that's what I want. So for this design, let me go a little bit bigger. Okay. I will actually uh, go here to uh, effects, no, to filter and go grayscale. And I do this because I don't want to have uh, these colors. This actually, it is an image, so I cannot change the colors of this gradient. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to elements and I'm going to search for gradient. So I'm going to put this gradient on top of this image so I can have mm, the colors of my brand in the background. So I will, with just one click, I put this gradient into the design and I just flipped it so it fits my uh, the full page now i'm going to change the colors for my branded colors and because this is a solid element i cannot see the texture that i really like so i'm going to go to transparency and move it a little bit until i can see the background or the texture at the back so I can see already here some dots and uh, the grain of the texture, the texture of the background. So now that we uh, have our background done, I'm going to elements here to this tab. I'm going to open and I'm going to the uh, category stickers. I'm going to open and now let's uh, try to find something interesting here. There is an element that I really love and I use all the time. So I'm going to type sticker and B L O B blob and then enter. So if you have seen my tutorials, you have seen that I use this a lot. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to browse through all the stickers and I see these bad boys here. So I'm going to select this one. I like the way it moves and the bubbles that it creates. And I'm going to position it around this area. And then I'm going to select this blob because in this story or this animated video, I want to have an effect of something moving up or upwards because I want 
uh, people to understand that this story they can swipe up. So I want also something that calls uh, people's attention and that they actually watch my story and they they like it, you know? So let me make this one a little bit bigger and I will move this one up like this. So you see it kind of looks like if these two elements were together together and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to upload my little photo so no actually i already have it in my canva i don't need to upload it and i'm going to search for it i have it somewhere here so i like it because i have kind of like a fun photo fun face and I'm going to position my photo on this section. Let me go bigger. And because I already have some colors in the background, I don't know, I think I would prefer to put this photo uh, grayscale. And I'm going to adjust the contrast. I'm going to boost this contrast a little bit more so the image pops a little bit more. <laughs> Now I'm going to add the text box, text, and add title, and I'm going to maybe put something like watch my new IGTV. I'm going to make this text a little bit smaller and position it on top of this blob, like this. And finally, because I want people to really, really understand that they need to swipe up, I'm going to select here on the elements and I'm going to search for sticker arrow. And I'm going to put some cool uh, arrows. Maybe I can change a little bit for this design. In the previous design, as you can see, I used this other arrow which is over here you will see it in a second here but let me try i want to try this new arrow element to see how it goes if it doesn't work i will go for the original arrow so i will position it here and yeah no i think i don't like it <laughs> i will go for the original design and let's go for this one so I will make it a little bit smaller so it fits my design. I will flip it as maybe I did it too fast. I will show you again. So I have my arrow here and we have here this uh, button or like arrows icon. I'm going to click here and then drag my mouse so I can actually flip this uh, arrow and then I'm going to position this arrow here. Finally, I would like to give it uh, a little bit of transparency to this uh, sticker because you can actually add some transparency to elements. And that's it. I already have my video, my animated video. And now let's, let's uh, go to my phone so I can show you how to access this uh, swipe up feature on Instagram. So now we are here on my phone and I'm going to open Canva. I have my application here on my phone because I don't know, it helps me download this, uh, these things really fast. And what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to access my design. And because I have two images here, two pages, I actually need to delete one just for the moment. I'm going to delete the first one because I don't need it. And I have here the final uh, design that I want to download as video. So I'm going to click on the button on the upper right corner or up, upper right. Yes, I think you say it like that. <laughs> so now I have my video on my camera roll. I'm going to Instagram and I'm going to open my stories and I'm going to select my video here. So now I have my video and it's ready to upload, but it doesn't have the swipe up feature yet. 
so uh, on the menu like on the top the menu on the top you will see the fourth element or the fourth icon that's uh, a link like a little yeah link icon so i'm going to click there and then you will see uh it's in spanish actually but it says like a link uh to swipe up and then igtv video so i'm going to click here where it says video igtv or igtv video and then here i can link any of my igtv videos so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to uh, click on the check icon and now my story has the swipe up option uh, for this feature to be enabled on your Instagram you need to have an IGTV video uploaded if not you won't be able to access this feature next I'm going to publish on my story and once it is published uh, my audience or my followers they will be able to use this feature and as you see I'm going to swipe up they will go directly to my IGTV so that's really cool and as you see uh, I don't have 10,000 followers and I can still use this feature and before ending this tutorial I would like to know if you like this design or if you will change it somehow maybe some colors what would you do different to this design I would like to know uh, I also love to learn from you guys and your feedback and if you like this tutorial and you would like to keep watching more tutorials about Canva remember to subscribe to our channel and also I will leave some videos here that might interest you and that's all, I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!